Hey, how y'all doing? So this is this should be a fairly quick video. I'm gonna go over a very nice setup that you, that you'll see all the time in the markets. We're looking at your old CHF right here. It's important to know that whenever you have a whenever you have a swing high put in or whenever you have a swing low put in, the likelihood of the high of that third candle getting taken out is very 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 likely. Okay, so for example, you see right here. See how we got a swing high right here. Look at my cursor with two lower highs on the left and the right. See that, how we got a swing high right there? Whenever you have something, when you, whenever you have a swing high that is formed and all three candles have now been closed because three candles make a price swing, whenever you have that, the likelihood of that third candle getting tapped the very next day, extremely, extremely, extremely likely. So knowing this information, you can even build a system off of that. You can build a strategy off of that if you wanted to, just off these price swings, okay? So we're gonna go to an intraday chart now as well to kind of look at this price action. So one second, let's zoom in. All right, so here it is, but now it is displayed on a one hour chart. All right, so you see how this high right here, see how the high is high right here, it's higher than the one on the right and higher than the one on the left. Whenever you have that criteria, whenever you have that swing high that is 100% confirmed and it's closed, very, very, very likely the very next day that low is going to get taken. Very likely. And with swing lows, it's the same thing. Whenever you have a swing low that is formed on the daily, which we'll go over here in a second as well, it's very, very likely that that third candle high is going to get rated. And another common question I get is like, when do you make a new day? Because like TradingView has it a little bit different where it starts the new day. Um, a new day starts at New York, so 12 o'clock. If you look at my cursor, look at that little box that pops up. See that? 12 o'clock, that's where you start a new day. Yeah, that's how you do it. And then once you got that swing high put in, again, you can look, you could really, just, you could literally build a system just around that, just, just by playing these swing levels if you wanted to. Again, there are so many different ways to play the market. There are a million different ways to skin a cat, and that is a, it is a edge if you do it success if you do it um or it is an edge if you have the right tools okay so what do we see happen here well we had a london session where we had this little judas swing we rebalanced that price action during london session you could uh f found somewhere to went short in there then you had this move lower breaking that swing point swing high put in market structure confirmed bearish not a high probability shift but still and then it came down and it attacked that low like I said, like you could literally just go into the market and look for these swing lows and these swing high points and play that one little simple price action pattern that occurs over and over again. Just playing swing points and just and just like running out previous days lows if you're shorting or running out previous days highs if you're buying. It's a very, very, very simple, simple way to trade. So now we're going to go to the daily chart back out to the daily chart we're gonna we're gonna find a swing low level real quick so you look right here look at my cursor so we got our lowest low in the middle then we got a higher low on the left and we got a higher low on the right as soon as you have that formation completed like you have all three candles have closed that third candle has closed and now we come into a new day this is where price opens up at so we come into a new day here and again remember your objective with this strategy your objective is you're looking for the high in this case, since it's a swing low, you're looking for the high of that third day to get ran out. That's all you're looking for. It's that simple. That is your objective. And then you're looking for patterns on your lower time frame chart where you're utilizing lower time frame market structure to run out that high. Because there are what above that high? There are buy stops, buy side liquidity above that high. That is your objective is to run out that buy side. Okay. So we're going to zoom in. We're going to go identify that pattern real quick. Here it is now displayed on the one hour. You can see right here we have our lowest low. Look at my cursor. So you got your lowest low right there. And then you got a higher low on the left, higher low on the right. So we had this formation completed. That swing low is completed. And now we're coming into a new day. And that high right there is left untapped. There is untapped buy side liquidity right there. Because it didn't, it didn't take it out yet so we're, we're coming into new we're coming into london session we're coming into london session and then we get a what we get a judas swing we got a judas swing to come down to take out these sell stops test our 20 institutional price level you could go short you could go long right there literally just off that 20 institutional price level just after it takes those sell stops okay and then look for or anticipate for price to move up into that level right there to take out those buy stops which it very likely will Okay, because that formation is completed on more times than not, the high of the third candle, whenever you have that swing low level 
put in and created more times than not it's going to get rated it's going to take out those buy stops so like i said it's a really it's a really simple really simple strategy overall you just you're looking for these daily swing points so you're waiting for the formation to complete you're waiting for a swing high to complete and then you're just running out the low of that third candle you're running out those sell stops and or and you're waiting for a on the other side of the coin you're waiting for a swing low to get put in and then you're just running out those buy stops on that third candle that's all you're looking for is you're waiting you're looking for that third candle to get rated after it does you're done with the play you're done with the play after that it's it's that simple because that's that's all you're looking for is that third high to get rated and the vast majority of the time it will